I wonder is it worth living now? They told me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked up pieces from my childhood in a broken house. And heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now. I hear the whispers in the wind under smoky clouds. And tell myself once again, I'ma work it out. So much shit. Yo, what's poppin', boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another video. Today we're actually at Deep Creek in Maryland and it is snowing and you guys are in for a surprise today. We're actually fishing in the snow. Not only are we fishing in the snow, but half the pond is actually iced over now. Yesterday we threw two casts and I'm actually with Katie and, and her friends in the back, Julia, and we got Tim back there. And Katie actually broke off. So like on her second cast, she had a bass on. She hook set, it snapped the line and the line started taking off. We didn't even get to see the fish. But I know there's some fish in here. We're gonna give it a shot today. Let's go ahead and show you guys the pond. It's actually snowing right now, too. Look at all the snow. It's actually snowed a lot more than what we were expecting. We have two rods and reels in here. We have four people, so we're gonna have to figure that one out. But they're both left-handed as well because Katie is actually left-handed. If you guys wanna check out the toboggans, by the way, on the website, link down below. Big Bass Energy hats as well, link down below. Go copy one, support your boy. I really appreciate it. Let's get this video started. So this is actually what we're working with. It's snowing right now. I got snow all over my nose. It's actually not cold at all. It's so weird because down where I'm from, a lot of you guys think I'm from Florida. I'm actually from Georgia. And you know, it gets really cold in Georgia. Like the last time I went fishing in Georgia, it was 26 degrees in the morning, 20 mile per hour winds. It was freezing. But right now it's not even cold and it's snowing and the lakes are iced over. And there's actually, so, the Deep Creek, which is the big lake here, it's actually all the way iced over. Maybe later in this video we'll show you guys. But this is the pond that we have right here. It's like a little public fishing area. You're actually allowed to fish it. But yesterday it was completely fine. There was no ice, no snow, no nothing on it. And then we came out this morning and <laughs> it's about halfway iced over. I don't even know how we're gonna fish it, but we know there's fish in here and we're just gonna have to give it a shot. So this is the pond. It's nothing big, nothing crazy. And I apologize for my camera skills in the snow. It's pro probably not the best. Yeah, what do you think, Tim? You think you're gonna catch a catch a big fish today? Have you ever caught one? Of course. Yes, with Katie. So, you, so you've caught one fish before. All right. One bass. This is gonna be interesting. Katie, you wanna get the poles ready? Nice. What would you say the snow is too? Is this like three inches maybe? It's not like a ton, but I mean, there was no snow when we first got here two days ago. And she had that bite right over there. And then you got all this ice. So you got this little open area. I think we're gonna be able to cast into that. I'm just hoping we get a bite. So, what are you thinking? Like a Texas rig or a wacky Yeah, I'm rig? thinking a Texas rig. Like any gloves. anything with a Sanko. And like I said, these are all left-handed reels, so you guys are going to see me fish very awkward today. But we only have limited area to cast. I actually got to grab my GoPro too. And everybody that's been asking on Instagram, this is actually Katie's truck. I think some people thought I ended up buying this, but it is. this isn't my truck. This is Katie's. But... This is the vehicle that we've been whipping around. And thank God we have this thing instead of a little car because we need that four wheel drive. All right, we're gonna switch to the GoPro shot right now. All right, here we go. I'm actually gonna bring the vlog camera because we have to have it, but oh man, I'm just glad it's not windy. So we don't have to worry about all that. It is not too cold. I think it's probably 30 degrees right now. Let me, let's actually double check real quick. My service is actually not working. What would you say, 30 degrees? Maybe like low 30, 31. Can you change the bait on the other one? Yeah, what's on it? It's like a rail trap. 31. It's 31? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off. Oh my god. Do you want a bobber stock? Um, no. Really? I don't really care for it. I'm gonna be honest, whatever you put in front of their face, I just hope they eat it. I'm not really asking for much right now, I'm asking for a, one fish. Last time I fished in the snow, guys, was probably back in, I want to say 2018, maybe 2017. That was in Atlanta, Georgia, and I actually caught a couple really good fish, and it was a blast, so I'm actually excited. I really want to catch one in the snow. This is probably going to be my one opportunity this year to fish in the snow, so we've got to make the most out of it. We did want, we wanted to fish the big lake, but like I said, it's all the way iced over, but we'll go check that out here in a bit. There's actually people ice fishing, not only ice fishing, but playing hockey out there as well, which is cool. Which one do you want? Oh my God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it does not matter right now. So guys, we're going to put a one fourth ounce bullet weight. We're gonna grab a three aught EWG hook. Snow's coming down now, isn't it? The wind is picking up too. That's gonna make it cold. 
We're gonna tie with a basic uni knot. Can you tie mine with the uni knot? Yeah. There we go. Four and fourth ounce weight, three out EWG, cut the tag in. What do you want me to tie it? Yeah, I have gloves on. Why'd you hook me? Um, I don't know. I got black and blue. Yeah, black and blue is fine. Oh, that's black and blue. No, and I have June to say both. Do you have a preference? Um, give me June bug. What, what rod do you want to use? Uh, the light one, the green one. All right. So if you guys didn't know, you know, I talk about this all the time, but to rig this Texas rig up, put it through the head of the bait, all the way till it goes even, break it yeah. through, push it all the way up onto the top of the hook, just like that. We're gonna line the bait up with the Sanko and right where this back piece is, that's where we're gonna penetrate the hook through. Boom, just like that. We're gonna bury this so it's weedless. Got it right there, a little Texas Rick Sanko. I still don't know what to expect. Like I don't, I don't know. I, I heard, you guys correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not like a snow boy. So I believe the fish bite really good in the snow. Last time I went, you know, I caught like a solid three and a half pounder, which is awesome out of a little pond back in Atlanta. Um, but I guess we're gonna see. Oh my God, what do you have this set on, Katie? I don't know. This is horrible. What is going on? Oh, thanks. I gotta retie the whole thing. You tied it around that. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> Tim, I know it wasn't you, it was Katie. Can't just you, gotta blame it on Katie. You should be able to just ring this through. No, like it's actually like tied around that. You see what I'm saying? I know, right? It wasn't iced over yesterday and now it's starting to... It's crazy. Really? Yeah, I know, that's crazy. It's interesting. You have a good day, man. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to retie this whole thing. I have no idea what she did there. Disappointed. If you guys want, like, look, it's actually tied around this. And I'm cold. I would really rather not have to do this, but we have to to be able to cast. By the way, I did bring a fishing reel, but I don't have any line on it. So, I'd e and we don't have any line with us. So, I'd technically have to take the line off her reels, which I don't really want to do. We're just gonna go with the left-handed reel. Dang it, guys, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of mad it iced over. I didn't, we saw it last night. It was just so clear, it was perfect to fish. And she had those two bites on her first two casts. I was like, gosh, it's gonna be good. And now it's iced over, but it makes it even more interesting. It makes it more of a challenge. This is the snow fishing challenge. Let's get after it. Let's see if we can cast now a little bit. All right, yeah, excuse my weird fishing with this left-handed combo, it's gonna be so awkward. But hey, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make it work, I promise. I kinda like this pocket that they're walking to, it looks pretty good. Problem is, it's like deeper out there and that's where I iced over, it's actually shallow right here. We actually never walked over here, so this would, this looks like a really good area. It's actually a lay down in this pocket too, so we'll give it a shot. Isn't that weird how the deeper parts ice over before the shallow area? Drop some comments down below and please explain that to me because it's got me a little confused. I know, that's what I was just saying to the camera. I was like, it's literally perfect yesterday. And now there's nowhere to cast. It's so shallow in this pocket. This is like literally inches of water right here and it's not iced. Can I break through this ice? Oh my God. No, I cannot. It's not even solid, it's just... It's like a slushy. I still can't break through it. Oh my god. I feel like the pond the pond's literally getting like icier by the second too. It's literally getting more and more icy. Alright, we're just gonna have to play some luck right here on this open area because this is literally all we got. Gosh, I'm so mad. Just work it off the ice right there, just like we would a lily pad. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't that bad, was it? The whole pond's gonna be iced over in 30 minutes. The problem is none of the fish are right here. I think we're out of luck. 
Yeah, I don't know. I really thought we were gonna smoke them too. I was like, man, this is gonna be good. If we if we went back out yesterday, we could have probably. That's what I'm saying. Yesterday would have been fine. It's getting icier and icier. Our selection is limited. <laughs> There's probably no fish in this little. What do they do when it gets icier? Ah, uh, you're asking the wrong person. I know a lot about bass fishing, but when it comes to this, <laughs> I'm clueless. All right, so. <laughs> it's not working out guys. I'm so disappointed. We found a pond that wasn't iced over and then all of a sudden it just starts icing. Ever since we got here, we've been here for about 30 minutes, it's actually iced even more, which is crazy. Look at this. I don't know if you can tell, but this is literally the only section you can fish, which is right here, which we made so many casts and it just was not panning out. Then you have the pocket that's like inches deep. So we're actually gonna take you guys down to the big lake because I do want to show you guys that. Might as well vlog while we're at it and uh, maybe see some ice fishermen out there. Let's get it. This is the lake, guys. This is where we were yesterday this is usually all water the weight lake is actually lower than it usually is if you look all the way across there i don't know if you guys can see it but all these little docks are out of the water <laughs> and these guys over here literally playing ice hockey which is just really cool it's just insane this is like a whole nother world over here so if you guys actually follow me on instagram i took a lot of instagram stories out here we are standing right off here and there's actually a lot of people ice fishing all the way over here near that pocket and then over here out in the middle. So we're going to walk over here and I wonder if there are people fishing today. Probably not. It hasn't really been snowing. It snowed yesterday but just for a little bit and now it's been snowing all day today. So I just wanted to come down here and show you guys. By the way, this is Deep Creek in Maryland. I did try to ask you guys on Instagram if anybody lived out here and was willing to take me ice fishing because I've never done it before. but. Sadly, nobody was over here. I was praying that one of you guys would, would be out here because I would just love to try ice fishing, especially while I'm you know, over here. But it is what it is and we'll do it next time. But look how beautiful this is. This is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'd much rather be in my boat, even if it's 30 degrees, than fishing over ice. But I can't really even say that just because I haven't tried it. But I don't know, this is still cool. This is an experience and it's something different. I'd also like to know, like if I take a trip, I don't know where I would go, but if I took a trip ice fishing, would you guys actually be interested in watching that? Like drop your comments down below, let me know. Um, by the way, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell as well. It really helps me out. Hitting that little like button helps me out more than you guys even know. But I actually just spotted some people ice fishing down here. So let's go, let's go see what they're doing. Only if it wasn't iced, we could probably put one of the canoes or kayaks in here. <laughs> not today. <laughs> that would not work. So my camera actually ended up dying. I'm actually back in Savannah, Georgia right now. We had an awesome trip. I just decided to vlog and try to go fishing in that little pond, but it just happened to be bad timing. You know, we should have fished the day before, probably wouldn't have iced over. But I wanted to make this video just because I wanted to document this experience. This year in 2021, I wanna show you guys more of my personal life and what goes on and vlog more and show you guys some different things on the channel. And I think it was a cool video to make, blast on the trip, big shout out to everybody that was there. Had an awesome time and it was good to get out of the comfort zone for a little bit and uh, actually go on a vacation because rather than that, I've been to New York and rather than that in New York in the last year, I have not gone on a vacation, like an actual vacation that's not related to business or fishing in probably eight years, 10 years. So it just feels good to get out of the norm go do some different things and uh, just enjoy life a little bit more. But I hope you guys are killing it in 2021, as you guys know by some of the starting videos of the year. Um, I told you guys it's gonna be the best year of our lives and uh, we're gonna kill it. Keep it positive and uh, do good things this year, guys. We're gonna bring the community together. We're gonna drop some awesome content. We're gonna be traveling some more. We're gonna be changing the game completely this year and i'm ready to take it over and we're going to do it together and it's going to be awesome i'm just so excited for it couple new excited things i want to talk about before i sign out of this video one i would like to know if you guys would like to see more vlogs if you guys would like to see more content like that let me know down below hit the like button on this video that helps out so much and i'd really appreciate it hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and uh 
Drop some comments down below on what you guys want to see. I'm back on YouTube. We're about to kill it. And I'm excited about it. But let me show you guys one thing. So my truck was actually out of order the last three weeks. And I actually finally got it back. I got to pick it up this morning. And i uh, just so blessed and thankful that the girl is fixed and ready to go kick some butt in 2021. Maybe. He's giving, me, he's giving me a weird look. I don't know about that. But yeah, the truck is fixed. And uh, we're just ready to go on some big road trips. We're going to be actually heading to Florida here in a few weeks. I haven't talked about it at all. We've been planning it out over the last few months. So I'm excited about that. I also have the RV that I just bought. I haven't even announced it on YouTube, but a video will be coming soon. I announced it on my IG. If you guys want to follow me over there, at kicking their bass tv i greatly appreciate it but the rv videos are going to be coming i want to do a full tour over the rv i actually bought the rv three weeks ago i bought it i believe the it's either the 27th or the 28th of december i wrote a check for it and um, i'm just blessed and thankful that i could do that and uh, we're gonna oh man we're gonna do some big things this year i'm excited about it i'm very thankful to be able to even purchase that thing like i wouldn't have been able to do that without you guys and without the support over the last decade. It's just crazy, guys. I've been in the game for a while, and um, I'm just blessed, man. Very thankful, and we're gonna be posting some awesome content. I'm gonna sign out of this video, guys. Stay tuned for some awesome fishing content coming this week. We're gonna be cooking up some heat, and I love you guys so much. Peace out.